What is up you guys and welcome back to another video. It's been a little bit. I said that for the last few videos. I have not been super consistent with taking videos. Reason for this one, went on a little vacation, had some fun, however got sick on vacation. But anyways, you don't care about any of that. Here is what we're getting down to. Today, I'm gonna show you how to change your Ford Sync 3 radio to the newest 3.4 update, okay? This will only work if you have Sync 3. So if you have an older version like Sync 2, no need to continue watching now unless you decide to upgrade to Sync 3. So let's get rolling. I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. Boom. So there's gonna be a few things you're gonna need to get together to make this possible, okay? First things first, a computer. More importantly, a Windows computer. I've heard it's possible with a Mac. I haven't done it in that way. So I am actually using a Windows computer to do this. And then you're gonna need a thumb drive, okay? Uh, a lot of people recommend the 32 gigabyte. However, for the North American version, which is what I have for my truck, a 16 gigabyte was perfectly fine. So this is what we're gonna need, just a regular USB drive. And we're gonna plug this into the computer right now. I wanna say real quick, you guys, I already did this to my truck before recording it because I was freaking out and scared that it was gonna like break up my system or something like that. So you're not gonna see exactly what my radio looked like before, but those of you guys who have Sync 3 know exactly what it looks like, but this is gonna be the same exact process you are going to do to get your Sync 3 to the newest update, okay? So we have that USB plugged in. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna go to Cyan Labs. I think that's how you say it, I'm not quite sure. It could be Cyan, it could be Cayenne, okay? But right there, Cyan Labs. And it's going to take you to the Sin 3 updater. It's actually gonna be an option right when you open it up, but if you type in on Google Cyan Labs, Sin 3 updater, click on this link right here. As you can see, I'll post it below, but this is where you're gonna go. Then you're gonna start off right here. So it shows you this with downloads in this section right here, okay? You're gonna click on this and you're gonna download it to the system. So we clicked on it. It is now downloading, so hang tight. Perfect, so it is all downloaded. So right here, here's your download. You're gonna click on it, okay? And here's, it's gonna ask you to uh, make changes to your device. Okay, perfect. So now that you've gone through all the steps, you've clicked install and finish, this is what it's gonna bring up, okay? So what we are going to want to do next is right here, you're going to select your current version of what you have on your Sync 3 software, okay? And then next step, we're gonna come in here and you're gonna pick which one of these belongs to you. For me, it's gonna be this one right here, the United States, Canada, and Mexico, okay? So we're also gonna to wanna to toggle right here this navigation button, okay? Because we do have the navigation model. So make sure you do click on that, right? After that, the next steps are gonna to be to make sure right here your install mode says auto detect and then your application release brand just says release. You do not wanna to have to change that. So after both of those are selected, you're gonna go right here to apply settings and click on that. Now right here where it says select a USB drive or directly, you're gonna click on this and bring down the drop down menu and refresh it if you have to, but it should pop up. Mine automatically popped up in here. So yours should probably do the exact same thing. So after that, the next step is gonna be to come down here, right, and go to the region again, United States, Canada, and Mexico, version sync 3.4, the most updated one. When you click on this, this is gonna be at the top of the list. So you click on this one. And then Mac version, this is very important and it will tell you this step as well. But if your vehicle is not a 2020 or newer, you need to be installing the Mac version 1.119 for a 2019. So like I was saying, this is a very important step, right? If you do not, so do not continue if you have a car manufactured in 2020, right? So we're good, ours is a 2018, but we are installing the 2019 3.4 sync software update. So we're gonna move forward. You are going to click 
No, because we do not have a car manufactured in 2020 and then click start. Also make sure whatever USB you're using, you don't mind losing everything that's on it or hopefully there's nothing on it already, but you're gonna wanna click yes to format it so it will automatically install it when we plug it into the car. So make sure you click yes. And after that, it should start rolling. If not, you're gonna have to click start again, but it should start doing the download automatically. Perfect, so it started doing the download automatically and mine started going super fast right here, but here's your total progress, this second part. So this total thing right here, and it took me probably 42 minutes or so was about the average time for this thing to go all the way through. And then when it was done, it actually just closed out by itself for me, and there was nothing else I had to do except for eject the USB. So again, after that's done being downloaded, you're now gonna pull your USB out or safely eject it, whatever you choose to do. But the next step after this is we're gonna run over to the car and now we're gonna put this in the car and we're gonna get the install going. All right, you guys, so I'm here in the car and I have the USB. I'm not actually gonna plug it in because I told you I already did this step, but literally all you're gonna do and whatever vehicle you're doing this to, as long as it's a SYNC 3 system, again, you can update it, right? But you're gonna plug your USB into whatever USB drive you have, okay? Literally, you're just gonna plug it in, and the next step is gonna come up on here, right here in this saying, and it's gonna say updating, okay? And then it's gonna take a minute or so, and then it's gonna shut off, and then it's gonna go through probably 42 minutes of a bunch of different random screens of loading all the new software up to the computer. And literally, as soon as it's done, you're gonna have your update. I'll put a quick picture of what Sync 3 looks like right here. And now that you've seen what Sync 3 looks like, this is what the Sync 4 looks like for my 2018 F-150, at least the XLT model. It might be different for the Lariat or Platinum models, but it gave it a cool, fresh new look compared to, you know, at least what the Sync 3 was. We've got Sync 3.4, so it's a nice little something. It's nothing crazy, but it still is better. I think one of my favorite parts is this. Now they actually show the um, cover out, like the album cover for whatever songs playing. So the old one didn't do that for mine in the Sync 3, but you know, it's it's a pretty simple update, but. I mean, it just kind of helps you out and it's absolutely free. You don't have to pay a dime for this on the website. They ask you for donations, but no need to do that unless you really want to donate. And uh, that is how you update from Sync 3 to Sync 3.4 in a 2018 F-150. It was another super quick video, guys. And I wanted to thank you again for tuning in to today's video. If you're liking what you're seeing, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you really love what you see, hit the little bell notification so you get notified every time we post a new video. And we will catch you in the next video. Video. I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals I've been